Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant morning to you. Now, this video is in lieu of a false notion that has been running for years upon years that the churches are swindling the money, the pastors are swindling the money, you know, the different, you know, leaders of the churches are swindling the money and not using it for God's business. That is as far as the, as far as the East is from the West. That is so not true. And you will have exceptions to the rules. So if you have a hundred pastors, two out of the hundred may not be so right. Two or three, if there are a hundred pastors. And trust me, they only can go so much and no more. They're like a ticking time bomb. It's going to blow up on them. But for the other 98, 97, 98 pastors, they are giving back to the poor and to the needy. I have seen it. If you don't seek out information, people, you will not know. Remember that the enemy is corrupt, you know, his wisdom is corrupt. He didn't lose his power, he didn't lose his wisdom, he didn't lose his knowledge. They only became corrupt. So he just creates doubt in your minds so that you don't throw tithes, so that you don't give offerings, give sponsorships to help building the kingdom of God and build up the churches. Tithe, the tithes are used to pay the pastors because they have to eat and live. They're human beings. They're not aliens from outer space. They have families and they have to live. And it, it, it is not easy to be a pastor to shepherd people. Right? And then the maintenance of the church as well. They use light. They use water. They have to buy equipment, maintain it, clean the place like your house. And then when they get offerings, they help out with outreach programs, give back to, you know, like self-help off offerings to give to those who may not be working and poor and pauperized or in need for a moment. Because sometimes you may not be poor, you could be working, but things are really tough. You have some debts that are strangling you as if you're being hung on a tree. They help, they give back. People, do not allow false news to permeate your hearts, minds, and souls that you don't throw tithes and give offerings and give sponsorships. That is not true. They're giving, but they're doing their best. And I'm talking majority, whether it's a mega church or a non mega church. And that is why God will bless them. And also, if you see pastors, I, this is just a side note. You know, some of them, again, majority of them, you'll have exceptions to the rules. Flying in jets or living lavishly. Remember that they are business people too. They have their own businesses. Go and read the entire Bible. And basically, all of God's servants were wealthy people. Go and read it, please. Go and read it. Knowledge is power. Gain it. I wish sometimes at my church, when they're giving out these scholarships to the poor, they could have sponsored me to do my PhD. But I know they're not, they're a non-profit organization. But one day, follow me on TikTok, subscribe.